fascinating article came out this summer. It's about the effect Harry Potter books are having on the upcoming presidential race. What did he say, dear? Diagonally. That's right. Harry Potter from Hogwarts may be swaying voters in the 2016 election. Wicked. At least that's the finding of political science professor Diana Mutz, who conducted a series of surveys across the electorate, dividing the results between Potter readers and non-Harry Potter readers. And what they found was that reading Harry Potter actually makes you less likely to support Donald Trump. What's more fascinating is that each Harry Potter book a person read increased their opposition to Trump by an average of 3%. So voters who had read only one Harry Potter book scored an average of 3% below the norm, while voters who had read all seven books were 18% less likely to support Donald Trump. And they showed particular opposition to his stance on banning Muslim immigrants, building a wall, and killing the families of suspected terrorists. Even when researchers broke the data up based on party identification, the gap between Harry Potter readers and non-Potter readers still held up. Dr. Mutz believed this gap exists because the nationalistic and America first message of the Trump campaign represents a moral opposite to the message of inclusion and acceptance expressed in Harry Potter books. And even though issues like immigration and religion aren't ever addressed directly in Harry Potter, examples of prejudice and discrimination aren't hard to find in the world of Harry Potter. How dare you talk to me? Filthy little mudblood. He believed magical learning should be kept within all magic families. In other words, pure bloods. I confess myself disappointed. Okay, that last clip might be a bit of a stretch. However, Mutz and Stouffer's findings do match up with a similar study from 2013 that found university students who had read Harry Potter showed more accepting views towards members of outside groups, including Muslims and the LGBT community. So what's so special about Harry Potter books that caused them to have such a lasting effect on the values of the readers? And the answer is nothing. Psychologists have long believed that reading books portraying marginalized or outside groups leads to a greater understanding of empathy and acceptance in the reader. Harry Potter is just the first series with a broad enough reach for these theories to be studied on a mass cultural scale. When we're reading literature, we have the chance to read into a character's thought process. We observe their thoughts and feelings before they manifest into actions. But because these moments of character introspection are so brief, as readers we are constantly filling in the gaps ourselves, doing the work to connect thoughts to feelings and feelings into actions. Expecto Patronum! In another study, researchers divided children into two groups. Group A was asked to read literary fiction, while Group B was tasked with reading nonfiction books. At the end of the study, researchers found that children who had been reading literary fiction showed higher psychological and emotional awareness of others, while the children in Group B showed no improvement at all. Bloody hell! When we read fiction, we're not just teaching ourselves to see the world through the eyes of our favorite characters but we're actually learning to broaden our sphere of empathy so wide that we can imagine ourselves in the lives of others. Great fiction teaches us to look past our own prejudice, to see people rather than stereotypes, piercing through divisions of gender, religion, or race. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then make sure to hit the thumbs up button. It really does help us out a lot and we would greatly appreciate it. Also, if you wanna see more videos like this in the future, then make sure to hit the subscribe button. Here at Goal Guys, we post six videos a month, ranging from videos like this, the one you saw, to vlogs and different styles. So make sure you check that out for sure. Um, yeah, have a great week guys and we'll see you soon. Cheers.